Hi and welcome to Trusty Kicks. On today's show, well, we're doing something a little bit different. It's time to clear the decks. Yes, I'm running out of room, especially when you start getting stuff like this on the show. I'm burning up all my space. That plus uh, funding is a little bit difficult as things are getting more and more expensive in the RC world. And I want to bring you new content. And uh, to do that, I just can't keep acquiring and acquiring and acquiring. So some of it has to go, even though I don't really want to get rid of quite a bit of it. And I need to keep the cash flow moving over. Otherwise, the channel is running out of steam. So in this video, I'm going to list some of the things that I'm actually going to let go, as well as some prices. So if you are interested, just reach out to Gavin Evans at rckicks.com and we can uh, do a bit of a deal and then I can pack it up and send it to you. Uh, shipping will all be done at cost and the cars, I'm not selling them at bargain prices. This is not about just flogging off loads of stuff as cheap as possible and everything I've got is in great condition. I tend to have a lot of shelf queens and brand new kits as you probably know if you watch the show so don't expect you're going to get a bargain also most of them are going to be rollers mainly because I just reuse the electronics and servos and if I sell them off at a discount I've only got to replace them myself so the first one is this it is a CCO2 Tamiya Unimog that I built on the show also, what you probably want to do is if you see a vehicle that you're interested in, check out the channel. You'll probably find all the building of it and everything so you can dig into how every little detail you want to see. Um, but this one is the Unimog CC02 from Tamiya. Now, this is brand new, never run at all. Um, it will be a roller, like I said before. As you can see, it is immaculate condition. I'll do some close-up shots on these cars. Things I've done differently on this one, I've done some pinstriping uh, around the door frames, around the side, and I've added one or two little tiny stickers that are not standard um, <laughs> up here, but pretty much it's stock. Comes with a silver can motor like it would. Um, the motors I'll probably leave in because if, especially if it comes with the kit, if it's a, mo a motor that I fitted that I have put in um, that I've upgraded, then I'll probably keep it um, from that point of view. So you'll have to put a servo in this one. You'll have to put an electronic speed controller and a receiver in this one. So price wise, I looked up on eBay and I looked at sold prices and they're currently selling for about £185. So that's what I'm looking for for this one. Comes with a manual, comes with a box. That's the first one. Let's move on to the next one. The next one in the list that I unfortunately have to, have to say goodbye to is this, the 2011 Ivanti. Now this one I bought built exactly like this. I bought it, it's never been run. It has no marks on the underside whatsoever and all the bumper and everything is all brand new. Um, tires are brand new. Yeah, I didn't paint it this colour, obviously it just came like that. I get the feeling that the person who built this wanted to go for like a, an Avanti black style. But these are the rims and tyres it came with, came with. It still has the uh, Avanti 2011 motor in it. Um, this will be a roller apart from the motor. And uh, £470 plus shipping, friends and family. If you'd like to, uh, you're interested in this one, get in contact at Gavin Evans at rckicks.com. Um, beautiful bit of kit could be yours. Next we have an F201 from Tamiya. Now what makes this so special? Well these are vintage, they're not reread and this one is brand new, never run. There's not a single road rash mark on the bottom of it. The front wing is in lovely perfect condition as well as the rear one. This one has just sat on a shelf its whole life. Now it comes with a vintage torque tune motor and it's got a servo in it, but nothing special. Now, I don't really want to throw this on. I've had two and I sold one and kept the best one for myself, but to bring new projects to the channel, I think it's time to let it go and then get something else that I can actually build, run and show on the, on the channel. So if you would like this, you are looking at 265 pound, friends and family, or with the fee, obviously. Shipping will be at cost. That will be insured and signed for. So uh, get in contact at Gavin Evans at rckicks.com. Next, we have the Koopal Wagon from Rock Hobby. This is a beautiful ready to run. It's a scale. It's got multiple gears. There's a whole video on this if you haven't seen it before. It's a beautiful bit of engineering. I'd love to see them make these in one tenth. 
beautiful interior. It's got an engine at the back. Uh, comes with everything you need, including battery. Uh, comes with the box and the manual. It's as good as new if you drove it once. Um, there's no damage on it whatsoever. Um, this one, £245. If you're interested in this, um, message Gavin Evans at rckicks.com. Right, we're on to another one, and this one is uh, one for the people that have deep pockets. It's this. It's the RiRi Team Associated RC10. This one has never been run whatsoever. Uh, I have the box, I have the manual, it's all in great condition, and so is the car. Um, it's obviously, as you can see, it's never been built. It was cut out when I got it. Um, a little bit of lifting on the protective film, but you could still spray it up, it's not a problem. Obviously, that's you'd pull that off after you finished it anyway. Um, so it's pretty much exactly like you'd expect it if you were built it. <laughs> One thing, stupid mistake that I made, and that was these are the decals that actually come with it, the official ones. And while I was building up my vintage one, I accidentally took the backing sticker there off of the Riri set. I didn't realize it until I got going and I didn't want to rip them off and put them on to ruin them. So the only thing that is a little bit different is that you're missing those two. But I do have the ones I should have used because I didn't realize at the time. Um, so I will supply both so you can build it up and actually put the stickers on it. But unfortunately, that was my fault. They're all cut out for you. Um, and I didn't realize, I just thought the stickers aren't that great. So that's why I thought they were reproduction and not originals. But uh, that's the only small little snafu on it. Um, price wise, you're looking at 650 pound, PayPal, friends and family, or add the percentage on. If you're interested in this, get in contact with Gavin Evans at rckicks.com. Uh, alternatively, the only thing I would probably swap this for is if you have a Mint uh, Welds car. I'd rather sell it, but if you happen to have a Welds car, then maybe I would do a swap, but obviously that would depend on quality, as they are currently selling for about the same price. Anyway, on to the next one. Next is this little beauty, highly detailed, ready to run, comes with everything. I've driven it once. <sighs> I kind of want to keep it. It's so detailed. With it does all the um, in, inside drops down and everything like that. It's got lights. It comes with a battery, a USB charger, and the transmitter and receiver and everything. As you can see, this one is pretty much brand new. I ran it once. Um, 149 pound um, plus um, delivery. You're looking at PayPal, friends and family. They come down quite a lot. They were quite expensive and I found one just now and some of them are still quite expensive but I found one that was uh, quite a bit lower so I've kind of gone a bit under that but um, that was only one person selling it at that price so obviously I've honoured that it's going to be realistic that you could get it from there. So that price is to sell being that it basically is brand new. If you're interested contact Gavin Evans at rckicks.com Next, we have the F350 from Tamiya that I built on the show. If you'd like to see more about this vehicle, there's loads of videos on the channel, so go check them out. It's all build series and painting series and everything. Um, it's pretty stock. I have upgraded the motor to suit more crawling, so that will come with it. You will need your own electronic speed controller and receiver, but I'll leave the servo in it as well. So um, literally it's a five minute job to get it up and running again for you. It is four wheel steer and four wheel drive, obviously. I've upgraded the suspension to much more scale and it's also just better looking all round really. Um, the ones that come on this are friction. These are oil. It is leaf sprung as well. So, you know, it's I've made it as soft as possible, but the suspension on these trucks are always way too hard. And that is as soft as I can get it, which is a bit more realistic when it's driving and a little bit more uh, forgiving over rougher terrain. Also to combat that, I've upgraded the wheels and tires. This was done after the videos came out. These are brand new Trill aluminium rims that will set you back a good sort of 70 quid for a set. And I fitted the softest crawler tires I've ever found. And they are absolutely beautiful. And these ones came from, um, uh, Dick Cepec, and they are gorgeous, really, really nice, and I kind of want to keep them, <laughs> but 
that's it pretty much if you're interested in this it's 375 pound um, friends and family uh, plus shipping obviously at cost depending on where you are or you're welcome to collect it as well comes with the box the manual and everything you you know you would expect to get um, paint job pretty good turned out all right actually yeah you could probably buff it up a little bit more just to polish out that uh, clear coat that I put on it but it was sprayed black then I put a clear coat on the top of the whole thing but the chassis is absolutely mint if you're interested, drop me an email at gavinevans at rckicks.com. Next, we have the FMS Atlas 6x6. Now, this has been on the show, and it, it, it crawls, all right? I tell you, the, the actual tires on it are super soft, and if you like that kind of retro old look, and you can mod these up and do quite a lot to them. Now, they're about £160 new, so I'm probably looking at about £100. I had a quick look at it and it looks brand new. There isn't a single bit of mud on it or anything. So you wouldn't even know that it's actually been out at all. The front flips forward like that. And then that's where you connect up your uh, battery, which is actually in here right now. Um, so there you go. It comes with the transmitter, a USB charger, LiPo battery that's in it. That shouldn't be in it, should be in my case, but there we go, I'll take it out in a minute. And the car the, and everything you need. So that's a hundred pound. Um, that's friends and family, PayPal obviously, plus shipping if you, or you can come and collect it. Um, contact Gavin Evans at rckicks.com. So even though while I've been making this video in the background, things have been moving pretty fast and I've sold stuff that hasn't even made it into the video. And mainly the stuff I wasn't planning on selling you guys got in contact and have already bought a load of stuff. The clod, the upgraded chassis clod with all the beautiful carbon, that is gone. I'm keeping the reef uh, servos as they're going to a new project. So I am planning on doing another clod build and I'm gonna dial it up to 11 and put a racing chassis from the same person that built the carbon chassis that's in it. And I'm gonna bite the bullet on that one. Yes, it's super expensive, but we're gonna go, we're gonna do another clod build and we're going to dial it up. I've got all the bits and pieces to do it. I just need to pull the trigger on the chassis as well as the little bits and pieces you need to make it work. So that will be coming. So yes, a lot of you will be surprised I sold the clod and so am I, but hey, it will spur on this new build on the show where we're going to push it even further. Camtech banger, that's off to Australia. That's going to wing it all the way over to Andrew in Australia with some merch as well. Um, so he's going to have probably the first UK Camtech banger to ever make it all the way to Australia. Um, so a massive thanks to him for that. The USA one has sold. That's been collected tomorrow. So I've got to dig the box out. That's at the back. So that's gone. The Madcap, believe it or not. Yes, I have sold this. One of my favorites yeah we restored this on the show and i managed to source an original body original decals and the correct mint tires for it also replaced bumpers and bits and pieces but kept the chassis so it is all you know vintage got vintage electronics in it uh but uh, yes i was persuaded to sell it so it's going off to a nice home and i pray that they reread -re that because i want one of those in my collection again but that's the one I think that's gonna uh, weigh on my heart a little bit. Also the Schumacher XLS that I've had for quite a while, that's off to a new home. I've taken a deposit on that one and in about a week and a half's time, it's gonna be paid for and shipped off. The reason I'm selling that and the only reason I'm selling that is I have a brand new XLS in box with uh, God knows how many hundreds of pounds worth of every option you could get for the XLS waiting to be built and I must get on and do that. So by me selling my XLS means it doesn't sit there looking at me, which means I'm gonna miss it because it is a stunner and I'll have to build that on the show and then we'll have another build series. So that's to push me forward. And that's pretty much it for now. There is loads of other stuff that I will be selling as well, but that's enough for now because I need to get that out the door and packing and shipping and making sure everything's done right. Um, does take up quite a bit of time. And at some point I will do another round. If there's something you like, everything is for sale for the right price, even though I don't want to sell it. <laughs> like my madcap. So, uh, Drop me a message at gavinevans.com, gavinevans at rckicks.com if there's something that you would like. And if it's something like my cross shows, these, you people want these. <laughs> um, they're not really for sale, but if you make me an offer I cannot refuse, which I hope you will never do, I will let them go. Anyway, thanks very much. See you on the next one. I'm going to go and cry in the corner now.